This is my 1999 Volkswagen T4 transporter. It's got the two and a half litre five cylinder TDI engine. It's the ACV engine code. And I'm investigating a starting problem that's uh, come to light recently in the warmer weather. So I don't think it's glow plugs because they only cut in at about uh, five degrees Celsius and it's certainly been warmer than that. Looking online, it seems like uh, on these older vans, uh, vacuum leaks are a problem. So I followed the advice on some of the forums and uh, dived in to see what I could find. So as you can see, I've removed the intercooler, which fit, fits there. And in fact, here it is. Um, I've stripped out some other bits. I've got the mass airflow, there's the inlet manifold cover, there's the EGR and a few other pipes. And uh, so far what I've found is similar to other people. So these rubber hoses, um, rubber vacuum lines, I'll find one here, um, with a braided cotton cover, um, they are well past their sell-by date. I mean, you see this one here is, it's got some wear on it. Um, it's probably not gone through yet, but it's not long until it does uh, form a vacuum leak. Um, but more importantly, this is uh, what I found, which is common to other people. The, the pipe which goes onto the manifold, which is down here. I'll see if I can get the light on it as well. And it's somewhat loose to say the least. So that's going to admit uh, unmetered air into the engine. That's not going to go through the mass airflow. So that's no good. Uh, what people online have said is remove the pipe, heat it up in some hot water, use a 50 millimeter Jubilee clip and gradually tighten it down and then leave the clip on in place because there's no clip on this one, interestingly. All the other joints have got clips on. Now to get at it, you've got to strip a few bits and pieces out. As you can see, uh, the intercooler's gone, the EGR valve has been removed. Uh, I did give the EGR a good clean up because obviously they get uh, quite uh, cruddy after a while. Uh, so that's looking a bit better. You can't blank them off now, that is an MOT failure. So you've got to live with it. It's good for emissions anyway. Um, even though it does make a bit of a mess. The inlet manifold, you can probably see if I can get the light in there. Let's have a look. Um, it's not looking too tidy. There's a lot of uh, carbon build up in there, but to, to deal with that, you're talking about removing the inlet manifold, and uh, I think the gain is, is, is negligible, so I'm not going to bother with that. Now, to get the pipe, the inlet pipe off uh, the turbo, um, it's not uh, attached at that end, but up here there's a 10 millimeter bolt which lives just under where you see where the dipstick goes down. There's a little bracket just under the pipe. You can't see it, but you can feel it. And there's a 10 mil bolt in there. Now, other people reported real problems getting to that bolt and undoing it. Um, I just used a, a small quarter inch ratchet with a 10 millimeter on it. That seemed to loosen it quite easy, so I guess I've been lucky. Uh, some people said they're sheared off, so uh, I, I don't know why that is. Getting it back in is going to be slightly more interesting, but I'll, I'll worry about that when I get to that point. But um, so far, so good. I've measured up all of these uh, these vacuum pipes, and uh, some of them are five millimeter inside diameter, some of them are six, and some of them have got adapters in to, to go from a smaller to a larger. Some of them have adapters in where they go from same to same. I don't quite understand that. Um, and some of them, like the one which goes onto this connector on the uh, intercooler, they've stretched a five millimeter pipe over a six millimeter fitting, so that's kind of tight. Um, I think it's because the other end actually goes to the ECU, uh, which I guess only has a five millimeter fitting. But why didn't they put in an, an adapter to go from a five to six? Anyway, they probably had a good reason for that. Um, I'm probably not going to replace this hose here that goes inside to the heating system. I'm not quite sure what that does. It looks intact. It looks okay, so I'm not going to mess with that. Um, but I will keep an eye on it if it becomes a problem I have to replace it. I'm planning to replace all these pipes with silicone. Uh, that seems to be the, the norm. I can add a bit of bling, have some colour. Um, I'll post the lengths uh, that you need if you're going to do that in the description. Um, plus any other useful bits that uh, I think I could share with you. The only other job I'm probably going to do is this little cover which comes off the inlet manifold that just sits down on the top like that. It's got two um, clips on it to hold the, the wiring conduit, that's this one here, just hold it out of the way. But it did have 
a thin foam liner. Now the foam had all perished in this and I just vacuumed all the bits out. But I think I'm going <coughs> to stick another bit in, otherwise I can just see this rattling away, making an irritating noise. It was obviously fitted for a reason, so I shall uh, try and make that back to, to factory new. There is a part number on it. I've looked online, Let's see if I can get the part number for you here. There we go. Uh, they're not cheap. I think the cheapest for a new one that I found was about £100. And uh, I'm certainly not going to spend £100 on a piece of plastic with a bit of foam inside. I'll, I'll make something up. So if I discover anything else or have any other useful information, I'll put it in the description. And then hopefully that will help you out if you have similar problems. But looking online, most people with this vintage of uh, T4 seem to have this problem with this inlet pipe and some people reporting large improvements when they when they fix the leak which makes sense really because you've got unmetered air going in so i'll uh, try and report my findings once i've put all this back together and um, whether it's fixed my starting problem or not remains to be seen so anyway i hope that helps you out there cheers then